All right. So in my last video, when I was uh, crawling these logs, I was actually using my RC four-wheel drive Galenda 2, uh, basically a, a Land Rover D90. It had 1.9 size tires. And I used the Vitera Ascender, which is the um, K5 Blazer in the back. And people asked me to use the Beast. <laughs> and I figured, why not? They're both 2.2 size tires. Everybody's asked me, um, what tires do I use on this truck? And these are 2.2 Traxxas uh, sledgehammers. They used to belong to Tamiya or Tamiya or wherever you call it where you're from. Uh, and uh, these, I guess they must have been purchased and picked up. So I use them a lot. They are studded. Yes, they're not perfect for every terrain, that's for sure. But I do have them on um, G-made air-filled rims. Uh, and, and really, they're just sealed beadlocks that you can add or remove move air with but these tires have done me really well in the terrain that I've been with is it going to help me with crawling the logs today I don't know let's have a closer look at these tires yeah you can see here that these tires actually have a, a gnarly tread on them and when you're able to control the air that's in uh, inflating the tire with these knobs, I think it'll actually do okay for trying to climb these logs today. We'll see. Uh, the Ascender is much lighter. This uh, truck has a three cell uh, lithium polymer battery, of course, two brushed motors, uh, and a lot of it, it has been upgraded, so it is quite heavy. Okay, we'll back her up, get a good line. This truck is fairly high up. Uh, it's narrow, but these nice tires give it quite a, a lot of uh, width, so I can actually do side hilling quite well. Now I did put the diff hanger uh, poking straight out there. <laughs> And I knew that with this extreme angle in here, it was going to be tough because it kind of creates a hole. But let's try to repo that and go again. Oh, this could be tough. Okay, so situations like this are exactly why I have a winch. Um, should I use the winch right now? No, it's too early in the game. Let's see if I can get up there. Nope, and I can automatically see that my hitch, if you had any kind of trailer or anything like that, make sure, here's a lesson I just learned. My hitch is totally stuck in there from my boat trailer acting like an anchor. That's not going to help me at all though because look at my shocks are at full extension and we're stuck in a hole. Hmm. Well, I've basically got no choice but to use the winch. This is the normal uh, worn winch uh, running on a wired setup with a giant jumbo Kong hook on it from RC four wheel drive and 300 pound test line. Oh, fail. Yeah. And I'll gently drive over. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now I don't know whether to be happy or disappointed with that, because it did make it, but not with the lengthy loose suspension. Let's get the Viterra Ascender out. All right, so my Vitera Ascender, the K5 Chevy. Uh, this has 2.2 Mudslinger tires on it. Uh, they are aluminum rims. I did uh, take the foams out and I am running them uh, just with air. They're not on an inflation system, but I did seal the tire. So the air that's in there is good. Um, so I do not have a controller for the top LED bar yet, or I'd have it turned on for you guys. That is coming down the road. Uh, 
but really light. This is on a two cell LiPo battery as well as a Tekken 35. So there was a uh, dual Tekken 35s in the beast. See, it goes to show heavier might not always be better, but who knows, the ascender might not even make it over this first little ridge. All right. The ascender, let's see if I can actually ascend. Well, the knot right off the bat. Give me a hassle on the climb. Got to approach it from an angle. Maybe go up the side. There we are. Yeah, so that's going to be a problem with the giant hole down there. Oh, I, I, that's cheating. <laughs> it got caught on the bumper though. Oh no, almost punished for cheating right there. Oh, punished. All right, so I did have the logs moved uh, simply from the truck moving them around, but obviously it was also at a bit of a, uh, at least the beast could get it the hood over, but the lower bumper with these hooks that stick out, we're causing uh, it to get hung up. So that's okay, no big deal. Gives us a bit more to climb anyway. Let's get in on that tire tread again. Oh, that's too convenient, it made it. Okay, but I switched the camera angle. Let's do that again, let's just back right up. Let's go out wide angle again. Now it was too easy, but it doesn't have a winch, so, you know, is it fair play? There we are, nice. It just has great hook up those tires. Let's change the camera. Right on. All right, it's only fair that I give the beast another chance. Uh, and yeah, the logs have moved, what can I do? But I'm just fooling and playing around. <laughs> this is the only log that's moved. I just basically moved it in against the uh, other one for stability. And that is much easier overall. Look at that. You know, I will say though, these tires in particular, let's have a look at them up close. Let me just back down the hill so we can look at them again. These are certainly better for mud and snow. I've had great times with them, but for crawling, like on the dirt, they're awesome. But when you come across any stones, not so good. Just because they don't have the surface area, right? Oh, look, I have a back axle slipping now too. Oh, oh, wasn't paying attention. Looking at the camera. Let's see. Flex. Nice. We can do this. There we are. Nice job. That was fun. 